Global Solution TV. We got your solution. Welcome once again to Global Solution TV. We are back again with uh, solution tips. Again, we are here with, we are with the man of God, Dr. Wilson Tayo from Global Solution for All Mankind. He's a man who has been giving us solution tips to our, our life problems. So, again, we have him here so that we can have something to discuss. It's a Friday again. So we are here with a topic that we would like us to discuss with the man of God. Man of God, you are most welcome. You are welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, we are most uh, appreciative for once coming again. Wherever we invite you, you always uh, come. So uh, we are so, so much grateful for your time during this interview. My pleasure. Uh, so today again, we have a certain topic that we would like to discuss a topic that could be a life-changing topic in the lives of many people. Today we would like to talk about madness. So as a man of God, we know that you've dealt with so many uh, cases about madness. You've, I know you've, uh, you've had, you've, got, you've encountered so many cases about madness. Uh, uh, we have encountered many people who are mad. So. As a man of God, we would like to know, what is a spirit of madness? Uh, uh, thank you so much. A spirit of madness is just a spirit of disorder. A spirit that causes confusion. A spirit that robs your own sense. It blocks you to use your own five senses. Uh, you begin to operate in different supernatural evil spirit based on the desire of the person that is driving uh, that spell to you. So a spirit of madness is an evil spirit. It's a creative, negative creative ideas from evil men that plot against people to frustrate the life of people and make people useless in life so that you will not achieve what God has intended you to be. A spirit of madness comes for the purpose to rob your glory, to rob your ability, and to destroy your normal five senses to operation, so that you will not operate according to the normal person supposed to operate. And therefore you become useless in life. That's a, the target of spirit of madness. That's the target of madness, to, op to pro prevent you from using your five senses yes. according to your will. Uh, so, is the spirit of madness talked about in the Bible? There were people in the Bible who have been mad. Um, when you see like um, a man from Genazareth, that man from Genazareth, when Jesus was crossing to the other side and he was with his uh, uh, disciples and the moment he walked out from the boat a man who was possessed with a lot of demons the Bible says six thousand six hundred G uh, legion a uh, six hundred legion is a, a very a lot of a, a big platoon of demons that man walked and tried to stop Jesus because he didn't want Jesus to operate in that land so demons in him uh, did, he, did not want Jesus to operate in that area. And that's why they cried to Jesus and they tried to stop him. But Jesus, uh, when you read the Bible, he said the man that is possessed with the demons of madness. That madness is mentioned in the Bible not only once, several places. There are people in the past, there are people in the New Testament who have been mad. And Jesus also met a mad person. Yes. Uh, briefly, can you tell us what causes madness? Uh, there are several things, uh, uh, my brother, there are several things that cause madness. Number one, if you, you are under stress, you have a long way stress, maybe a long time stress, you are stressed up, 
uh, you will find that uh, the stress lead to a level that we call depression. When you are depressed, it's very easy to become mad. That is another way why people become mad. Another thing is when you have this uh, problem of malaria. Malaria, there is a malaria that when it has to move to the brain, it affects your brain, you become mad. When malaria affects the brain, you, it, it can be, make you mad easily. And the third area where people become mad is when you get an accident. There are some accidents that uh, when you are injured in a certain part of the body, you can become mad because of the tumor and the impact of that uh, incident that took place. And then there is this one that is evil. When a demon is sent to you to make you useless, uh, mad, you become mad. So there are several ways why some people become mad. Yeah. Uh, uh, since there are so many ways that uh, whereby people can become mad, uh, we've seen that some are due to medical and some others are due to evil. So let's talk about this evil cause where you say that someone can send a demon to come and frustrate you so that you, you become mad. Uh, how does one cure from such a spirit of madness according to the Bible? Yeah, pardon your, your question. And the question is, how can someone uh, be free from that spirit of madness? Like that, that one from evil, whereby someone sent you a demon to, to, make, you, to make you mad. Okay, um, there are several reasons why people send evil spirit or a demon to frustrate the life of an individual or maybe with a spirit of madness. If you are, you, you are guilty against the person that is doing that, then that means you have to look for a confession. You have to ask for forgiveness. Your people have to acknowledge the problem or the cause, the error that you did against a person, and then they have to ask forgiveness. And then the person that frustrated this man who, who allowed the forgiveness. Now, now that forgiveness will release the person and make the person free. It's biblical. Confess your sins one to one another and pray so that you can be healed. <laughs> one of the healing that the Bible talks about is when you are frustrated with something that you have done an error against somebody and that's the result. What is happening? There are people that they are very evil. If you mess up with their life, they don't forgive you. They go and send a spirit of murder. Those are witch people and evil people. So such cases where you ask God, you pray to God, you say, God, uh, I am mad, or you are praying for the person, the person cannot be healed. You have to recognize the error or the mistake they did against the other person. Because there is not any cause that can be sent on a person or individual which has no cause, it cannot affect a person. Yeah, that is a, a way you can recover by acknowledging what happened, because of course, when somebody is mad, it's not in his own sense. And therefore, the only way to do this are his own people to acknowledge the mistake. And you know, one of the things that will help the people to acknowledge is that the, all, the people that send this madness, they don't send madness without informing. Yeah. If that is, there is a mistake. They will quarrel with the person, they will tell the person, if it is a money, give me my money. Or there is an error they want these people to rectify. But if these people prove stubborn, it's when they go on and do their own godliness, uh, the wickedness against the person. Yeah. So this one is something that is, will be recognized with the, all the members of the family. And they can repent on behalf of the person, ask a confession of forgiveness, and then the person will be relieved. Another way is when people are evil. Yeah. You don't have to be a, done a mistake against anybody. But somebody just decides to frustrate your life because of the good things that are happening to you. Like they have perceived that your future is bright. Maybe you, 
you, you, you, they, they want to steal your glory now. They want to frustrate your life. So when they injure you with madness in such a manner, what you can do is the name of the Lord. It's a strong tower. The righteous run to and the safe, uh, they become safe. But you must mention the name of the Lord with the knowledge. Yeah. You must have knowledge on what type of a, 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 a prayer that you are going to pray using the name of the Lord yeah. to solve the case. You have to know the type of prayer because there are many different types of prayer under the name of the Lord. Yeah. yeah. So for you to identify, you have to identify the cause of the problem before you can identify the right type of uh, application or prayer you need to apply. Yes. There is a type of prayer that you need to apply to a certain yeah. level of madness. Yeah, there's a madness that you can just command and the spirit will leave yeah. the person. Mm. And there's a madness that has a root whereby you have to identify how to uproot mm. that root. And there are some, some things that you have to go deeper. That's where it demands knowledge. The Bible says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So if you acquire knowledge on such a matter, you'll be able to go deeper because you cannot recover the person unless you discover the source of the problem. Okay, I think you, you, yeah, you are getting the information very well. We have so many levels of madness. So what are these what are some of these levels of madness that we have? There are different types of madness. A madness has a cost on the evil altar, a strong altar. It cannot be compared with a spell. Yeah. <laughs> when a spell is sent on you, you can just say, I command it in the name of Jesus out. A demon fear God and they tremble when they hear his name. Yeah. So you can just command the spirit of madness if it is a spell. Yeah. But if it is a covenant, that people have set up a covenant against the person. And that's why the person is frustrated with the madness. You have to pay the price by digging into the levels on how to break the covenants yeah. before you can set the person free. Yes. So you can also become mad because of stepping over charms. There are some different levels of charms. Somebody can be, you send a charm in the dream, and you wake up, you become mad. But somebody also can set up a charm on the road. You step on it. They are different. That is a different. The one that they send in a dream is lighter compared with the one that you step on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go for a short commercial break. We shall be back. Thank you. Global Solution TV. We got your solution. Solution TV. We got your solution. Global Solution TV. We got your solution. Okay, welcome back. We are back with uh, Solution Tips. We are talking about madness. Uh, as the man of God was saying, we were he was discussing, telling us about the levels of madness. Sir, continue telling us those levels of madness that we do have. Oh, thank you. Again, now, for example, uh, somebody who has become mad for a long time, it cannot be compared with somebody who has just become mad a few days ago. The more the problem stays with an individual, that determines the, the, the root. So the person will have that problem. That problem will go deeper and higher against the person. So, for instance, I have uh, different people I have met. Uh, 
by the grace of God, he has solved these cases of madness in their life. A man was mad for seven years. And this one, who was mad in seven years, I didn't know the cause. I didn't know the problem why the man was mad because I was on the altar, uh, a crusade. And then the man came to frustrate my boys on the crusade and everybody was running helter skelter and I decided to, to climb on the altar because everybody was running away and I'm the one that paid the price of all these instruments. So I don't want anything to be injured. So when I stepped there, the madman came holding stones in his uh, hand and he looked at me and the stone fell from his hand. And he knelt down himself. And I asked the pastor, what will be your name? And he said, my name is so and so. And I said, where do you live? And he said, I live in a certain place. And I said, you can wake up and go home. That's how the man was healed. He was mad for seven years. And he was healed in that manner. And I don't know how. That to me, I call it a miracle. Because a miracle is when God does something using you without your knowledge, without understanding the level, or without applying any knowledge that you have. Yeah. So to me, it's a miracle. Because when impossible become possible, then it's a miracle. So that to me was very easy. Another way that I, I encounter madness is when I met uh, the, one of the leader of this church called the STA people, the top leader. The daughter, who is uh, form free, became mad. And then after eight months, walking everywhere, looking for solution, they now came to my place. Uh, a head teacher of the primary school uh, suggested them to bring the person to me. And I encountered the person. I delivered that girl uh, within 10 minutes. Uh, I prayed over the person I command the spirit of madness to leave. Yeah. That is another easier way mm. on how. Now, in, uh, in, uh, in Lagos, in uh, Lagos, in Nigeria, yeah. they brought a young man at the age around 38 uh, who has been in madness for 12 years. Mm. And this is something that everybody knows. He has been staying at the market. He became mad. They arrested him. They tied him. They bring him. They brought him in the hotel where I was holding a conference. When I was looking at this man, it was not easy to tackle the problem because he can't talk. So his own people came to talk to me. And they told me what happened and everything. And this was when I prayed. It didn't work. When I commanded, it didn't work. So... To me, I realized, oh, huh, this one uh, is a deeper level. Is is higher and deeper eh, in madness compared with what? With the other experience I had. Yeah. So what did I do? I now turned into different dimension of recipes. Yeah. The natural remedies, uh, by the grace of God, I have understood they can be used in prayer to solve a case like that. So I directed these people to apply the natural remedies that I happened. Then I told them within seven days, this case will be okay. But before I reached to Kenya, I am still in, in, in Lagos. In three days, they call me, they say, the person is okay. Amen. He has recovered. After they applied the recipe which I prayed for, and I gave them to rub on the person and prepare and pray with, with him, and uh, uh, the person was solved. So to me, that is a different level compared with first experience which I mentioned here. You see? Yeah. So to me, that, that's how levels come to me. Mm. I say, ah, this one is more higher. And also it depends with the many, many years that the problem has stayed with the person. Okay. So I think now you can differentiate uh, uh, the different levels of madness. Uh, sir, you've talked about this guy of Nigeria, you say that uh, you used different recipes to solve the case. You didn't just pray because uh, when you prayed, it didn't mm -hmm. go away. So in that case where you used the recipe, uh, would you help us with which type of recipe can be used to drive away madness from a person? 
Okay, uh, as li like I said, madness is a challenge yeah. to many people or our people today. It's a challenge. And we have a lot of people uh, who are affected with the beloved one, they are affected with mar uh, madness. Yeah. And therefore, people are looking for solution. If you go to hospital, you will find uh, uh, hostels are being set apart that this hostel is for mad people. Mm. This world is for mad people. Yeah. Uh, that's because everybody they are looking because the, the science way or scientific way on how to deal with the madness is about recovery. Yeah. What they do is to make sure they put up a process on how the person can recover and that's step by step mm. of which many of them like 95 percent normally fail. Yeah. It's only minor that they, by the grace of God, the scientific can restore that medically. Yeah. But uh, spiritually, all things are possible yeah. with Almighty God. Yeah. So, because of that, I advise that uh, if the people can turn their mind into learn, they learn the secret of God on how to deal with the case of madness using natural things, yeah. it can become very easier. For us because most of those muddy people are spiritual cases yeah. most of them uh, there are few that are uh, medically attention need to be uh, take attention medically but most of these people are spiritual cases and if they are spiritual there is nothing that a doctor can do yeah. only god uh, he takes the hand of god the divine intervention mm. of almighty god to heal the person by the knowledge of the supreme knowledge which the person has possessed or acquired will help the person to recover. So I am uh, advising that when you have mad cases, especially spiritual cases uh, which are mad, people should learn natural ingredients. There are several things that can solve that case, which cannot, like uh, apple bowl, there is a tree we call apple bowl, Apple boy is a tree you can find it in Nigeria, in a West Africa countries, in a, a, a forest that we call spiritual forest. Mm. Now, to other people, that spiritual forest is where they call evil forest. Yeah. The reason why they call evil is because it leaves spirits. A normal person cannot live there. You can't collect anything from that bush mm. where the ignila a tree and apple boy tree grows, you cannot find uh, normal activities in that bush. <laughs> you see, that's why people call it an evil forest. But actually, it's not just evil. It is a spiritual forest where you will experience spiritual entities, like people who are your people who died long time ago. If you go to that, that place, you may find them. You are a Kenyan and you go to uh, Nigeria and you go to that forest you will see you are a Kenya father mm. who died long time ago he has never stepped in Nigeria you will <laughs> see him appearing in that place yeah. there are many entities mm. in the forest there are different spirits and even entities in different level uh, in the nature of animals and all what they will come against you those spirits can also put on uh, clothes and come against you but uh, you can see that all these entities I'm talking about, they are not normal entities that live with men. Yeah. They are in a certain place separated in the forest. And this is the reason why the trees or any product from that place, if you have knowledge, it has a supernatural power. And that's why you have to understand how to use them and how to get them. Yeah. So if you get them, they are able to solve your case. Apple bow and the guinea tree are very, very powerful trees very powerful but to get them to use them it's not easy yeah so if you can get that even the other thing that can solve these cases is a um, the native egg yeah. it's a very simple thing that people can uh, uh, acquire in their in their homes yeah. a native egg is very simple to acquire is a it's just a knowledge that you need and you can pray over it and you touch on the person like you are cleansing the person. When you do a cleansing with a native egg on a dead, a, a muddy person, you can recover the person. But also it depends with the levels 
of the madness. Yeah, he can demand like that, you touch on the person and then you break it outside. That spirit of madness follows where he goes with that egg and then the person remains like that. You can also use uh, the, the sand, the soil. You can pick the soil from the family of the person that is mad and then mix with the uh, ashes and pray together with it and rub on the person and command the madness to go. You rub the person like the person is mad, become mad. A muddy person, you, you remove the hair and you rub those, uh, you mix it and you rub the person. Like uh, if you take the, the dust and you mix uh, a bag, the soil, and then you mix with the uh, ashes together using the miracle water, which is uh, uh, coconut water. You, you, you mix it together. And then now you share with the person who is mad. That one is a, a very strong madness. If the person is very strong, mm. you are arresting the person, especially those that are violent, those that are breaking it, those that are beating people, you arrest them, those that are being chained. Mm. So you arrest them, you shave the head, and you, are, you cover, you, you wipe all their hair. All these, uh, your madness which you have prepared, you, the mud, mm. you now uh, smear them on their head, mm. and on their feet and their legs, and you pray over it. It can be like that for seven days, the person will be free. If you apply all these things I have just mentioned and other things I have not mentioned, and it doesn't work, and you are prayed and it doesn't work, and it's not a result of uh, an accident, or the, the, the malaria has traveled to the brain, or maybe it's not a medical case, it's a spiritual case, and it, it declined, all those areas I have mentioned, you now go to another higher level, which I believe. That, that one cannot be stopped. It's a solution to all spiritual cases. Mm. Every spiritual sickness. Whether I know it, mm. I don't know it. If you apply it, <laughs> it will be a solution. Yeah. And I would like uh, to see whether you people you can pay me so that uh, I, can, <laughs> I can mention that one. one. Eh? Uh. Or you want me to mention that one? Uh, we shall ask our viewers, but for, that, for, that, for today you can just give us a tip of that one, that the highest level. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, uh, you see, we have different types of snail. Yeah. Snail. Yeah. A snail that you see is a, a very powerful solution on a muddy cases. Yeah. Muddy cases that are spiritual, Abi. That's what I said, uh, the one that is spiritual. Mm. If you have tried everything and it doesn't work, mm. go and get a snail, like 10 snails. If you get 10 snails, look at the bucket of water. Mm. The bucket of water, fill it with a wa clean water, mm. clean, fill inside. Mm. Then take the snail, drop inside, 10 snails. And then leave it like 10 minutes. Okay? Yeah. And then bring out, uh, turn it on the bottom, where it is uh, sharpness on the house of the snail, mm. the sharp area. Mm. Break it to bring out the, the water from the snail. When you use something to bring out the water, like, but make sure that a snail doesn't die inside. They should be alive. Yeah. So you remove the water only. Once you remove the water in a barrel, Drain the water from 10 snails and then go and look at native egg, like three native egg, if the person is only one person. Yeah. Look at native egg, three of them. Break them and remove that yellow thing, dry away, remaining with the white one. You see the yellow layer? Yeah. You don't need it. Mm. You cannot help on that. Mm. You just need the white one. So all of them, you get the white. You mix into this uh, snail. Uh, water mix into them and then pray over it once you pray over it it's a very powerful medicine keep it somewhere for three days while you are praying over it mm. every day in midday go and pick it and pray again and put it there at the midnight pick it there again prophesy something and put it there for three days once you finish for three days apply it to any spiritual sickness including madness. How do you apply? You can give, look at a teaspoon, a teaspoon. Take one, 
small give the person to on, drink to drink yeah let the person drink <laughs> one spoon yeah. morning mm. another one daytime mm. and the evening as you do that whether it's a woman or a man you have shaved the person mm. so as you do that remove the hair because when person is sick you don't need the beauty yeah. so if you are a lady remove the hair <laughs> remove the hair because we are looking for solution here. Hairs will grow again. Yeah. Mm. So remove the hair. So shave the person. And then apply some on the forehead. Yeah. A little on the forehead. This one you don't have to have everything. Just, it, it's very rare to find such a medicine. Yeah. So it's very expensive. You have to keep it. Yeah. So it's just a small thing. <laughs> you touch it like that. Very, very important. So you touch it there on the head only and you give the person a small spoon a teaspoon in the morning daytime and evening the target is for seven days only it can happen in hours the first day the person begin to behave normal it can go with some cases seven days is a maximum yeah. but between the first day the time you apply it to the the person will be restored a hundred percent but this is what will happen that case, if somebody uh, strategize against the person and program that case and send it to the person, if he, the person will get healed, the problem will land on the person. Oh, it can be him, it can be his children, one of his family, he will receive it. It's a very powerful backstander. Even if you don't say return to the person, yeah. it will just locate the person because that one can go he can, it's like I'll get a pepe. He cannot go without <laughs> accomplishing the purpose. Yeah. Uh, that one, mm. he can't go without accomplishing. He, he, we say he does not embark on a shameful journey. <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if he cannot solve that case, mm. it will go back yeah. to the person who sent it. So if you apply that spiritual recipe, mm. that manner which you have. But there are rules though. There are rules. <laughs> you see, that type of a uh, higher level that I have told you a medicine for spiritual cases. Yeah. Remember, it's all spiritual cases. Whether it's a finance, yeah. whether it's a sickness, whether it is a, all spiritual problems, all of them, that one is a solution. Yeah. If the person in the manner of sickness, how do you prepare that thing? This is how to prepare. The person that is a victim, he has a father, he has a mother, he has a sister, he has a brother, he has a, a, a wife. So, if you are a victim, it is only your wife that has to prepare that recipe. Yeah. If not, your sister. If not, your brother. If not, your mother or your father. Amen. Only within the nuclear family. Yeah. Nobody should. Another thing, you cannot share it. You can't treat it with the two people. When it is prepared for you, for it you. will for you. And when it remains after you recover, it has to be disposed. You don't have to uh, take it to so and so. He has a mad, mad cases, solve it. No, that's how it goes. If you are a woman, you are preparing that thing, like maybe it's your sister preparing for, she should not be in, in circle. Another thing, she should not be making love to men. If you are a man, you should not be touching women. You must prepare that thing and treat the person and abstain from sexual issues until you are okay. If you touch those things, you compromise. Yeah. That thing will rest upon you, the, both of you people. You have a problem. If you apply it and you have touched those things, mm -hmm. the person will remain to be mad and it will extend to you. You will also become mad. Mm -hmm. There are many things who will follow you. So those are the rules. Okay. Uh, our viewers, I think now you've got something out of today's topic. I know you've learned so many, so many cases here. Doctor has talked about them. Sir, uh, with this knowledge of yours, I know many people would like to know where they can find you, how they can find you. So please, could you just help these people and give them your contact so that in case someone has viewed this video can go out there and maybe look for you and get you. I want to extend my invitation to all the people in the world. 
all of the countries in the world. And I want to appeal this to my people in Kenya here. Eh? Kenya people, I beg, there is no need to live a confused life. Look at me, and people say, I mean, I always a witch, or is doing this and that. Uh, this is your pastor deceiving you, telling you that this and this. I had a case of madness, before I finish, yeah. I have a case of madness recently in my church. Yeah. One of the members in my church, he didn't turn up to church on one of the Sunday, recently, last Sunday. And after the service in the evening, I got news that the pastor became mad. Yeah. You know what happened? I was not in position to meet the pastor to reach where the pastor was. I was not remember to carry the pastor to my church. They now call different people, so-called ministers, to come and minister to the person in the house. Yeah. Nothing happened. The case wasn't. And then they now say, hey, Dr. Tayo cannot be found. Now they carry this person yeah. to another preacher whom they believe, those people that are trusted, they believe that the man can help. He prayed their prayers, nothing happened. Yeah. Until on Monday, the pastor was brought to me early in the morning, around 5 a.m. in the morning in my church. Yeah. It's when they brought there. On Tuesday, the person is perfect. Yeah. On Wednesday, I prayed I pray the church with the person. Yeah. He's recovered, restored, and everything. He can talk, he can walk, he can jump, he can say anything, he can eat. The man can smile. Oh. Mm. What did I do? I applied the same things I'm teaching. Mm. Now, you see, when you follow these uh, people, <laughs> like these pastors, they are telling you that Dr. Tayo is a witch. This pastor will tell you, go and fast and pray. <laughs> <laughs> go and fast and pray. Fast and pray until God deliver. Yes, fasting and praying is a weapon. Yeah. But it may not be only weapon to solve that case. Yeah, you need to add more things. Every preacher must be praying and fasting. Every preacher always pray and fast. Every believer who believes in Jesus, they always pray and fast. So I want to encourage Kenya people, don't be deceived. I am not Mackenzie, eh? <laughs> who will tell you, go and pray and fast until you die. Even himself, I've never heard him say so. I only hear people say but when you listen to his cases, his preaching, all the preaching that they are putting there, I have not seen any place where he say, go and fast <laughs> and, and die. Right. Even himself, he says so. Yeah. So, uh, all, what I say, I welcome all of you. If you have a case of madness, you have seen this man of a case. We have a, a branch uh, here in uh, Kenya, in Mombasa office. We are in Likoni. Global solution for all mankind. You can come to Likoni and look for that. We'll give you a spiritual, uh, look for me. I will give you a spiritual dimension, a solution way on how you can solve the case. We have this solution uh, uh, in our life. By the grace of God, we can give you according to the way the Spirit of God will reveal to me. I will tell you. So you can find me here, Mombasa. You can find me. You can call the line 0722. 472591 0722454729. That number is a direct number. Even those of you that are abroad outside different countries, you can call that line and somebody will be ready to pick it and tell you, uh, answer you, and help you. If you can find us on WhatsApp, um, uh, that is 075, uh, I beg, 07990 and then 970. 454. That's a WhatsApp number. If you get that, get in touch there. If you are in abroad or outside the country, you can add the code. You, you add the country code, like the 254. It's a Kenya country code. You will find us. If, even if you go and talk to us on our Facebook page, you'll find us too. Okay? Send us an email, kingdomchampionministry at gmail.com. Send us an email. Anything that you are asking. A lot of people have been reaching me on my website. Uh, right now, my website is not active. I want to encourage you to continue to be patient. Uh, very shortly, our website will come back on the line. Okay? But all these uh, uh, media that I'm mentioning, they are open for you. You can meet us even on the Instagram. You can find us. Anything that you want. If you have any problem on the madness, or cases of this uh, manner, 
or you are beloved one, you don't have to allow the pastor. Uh, the pastor is mad. Now you tell the pastor, call in Dr. Tayo. A man was mad in 11 years in Nairobi, in Kayole. And the woman came to me and talked to me, and I happened to give a recipe. That man is in Kitale. He's now a shopkeeper. He's having a shop. He has uh, this one that they are selling cars uh, uh, and what, uh, building materials. He's now doing that. So you see, you don't have to struggle. People are telling you, hey, Tayo is teaching, teaching witchcraft. And I'm solving people. Do you know the reason why I'm called Dr. Solution? It's because of that. I come in, I give you direction, I solve you. I solve even witchcraft, uh, witches, uh, doc, uh, native doctors. These are one native doctors, witchcraft in Kenya, here in Tanzania. They are coming to my office here. They are coming here to buy my books, to buy my, my Agatha Pepe, to buy this. And they follow, we follow your YouTube channel. We are learning a lot. We want to learn how to apply these things. Uh -huh. Because I'm asking you, you don't have to waste your time. Come all, come one, come all, come all of you, Mombasa people, you don't have to suffer. Madness, we have a solution. Any type of madness, I have a solution. Only medically. When a doctor will say, this one, we cannot work it medically. Bring it to global solution for all mankind. You will find a solution. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. My God bless you. Till we meet again. Bye-bye.